guys and welcome back to my channel i am back with another review this review is for the real housewives of atlanta season 14 episode 14 so if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can know each and every time that i upload a new video um okay where do we start there has been so much tension between marlo and candy this season already and now you know candy wants absolutely nothing to do with miss marlo because of the things that marlo has said um recently actually at the dinner um and it like was completely just like from the left when Marlo started going in on Candy's mom, her relationship with her mom and how Candy takes care of her husband, Todd. And Todd was actually sitting there really quiet as Marlo's yelling and saying how Candy is, you know, she take care of her men and all of this crap and how uh, Candy's mom doesn't like Todd and Girl, it was just a bit too much. Um, <laughs> I just thought it was truly disrespectful and very distasteful for, you know, Miss Debbie's hunt, uh to be doing that. But we all know Milo likes to hit low. Um, I just thought it was a bit too deep where she was going with Candy for, you know, what was going on because I truly cannot remember anything uh, with, you know, Marlo and Candy getting into it or what, you know, for Candy to say anything, you know, they, Marlo opened up to her about the boys and the whole situation. I truly just don't know what Marlo wants Candy to do. You know, the moment that Candy does not like, you know, come to her, you know, her rescue of, or, you know, be that as it may, uh, Marlo just starts hitting low and she's like, you need to be a better friend. You need to be a friend. You need to be a friend. Girl, be one first. Literally. Like you just can't just start going off on people. But okay. Before I get up, run off on a tangent about Miss Marlo and Candy, let me drop down below and tell me what you think about that situation. Because I just think, you know, Marlo does hit very low. I'm not saying Candy's perfect, um, but Marlo does hit very low and then later on comes back and she tells everyone how much she loves them and she loves everyone and, you know, but, you know, some words are like toothpaste. You can't put it back into the tube. So, you know, she needs to pull back a little bit on, you know, how she goes after the mom and the husband. Todd did step in and say a little something about, you know, <laughs> wait a minute now because you had to pay your way on the show. I don't know what that means but I am curious to know what is behind that statement I know that she was you know with the crew you know years ago when they filmed there in Africa and I know that's what Candy and Todd met but I'm just trying to figure out because I know uh, Marlo was there with Nene or whatever but I'm just trying to figure out what's going on because that's what what's the tea on that that's the, that is the one too that is the one too but okay before we you know get like I said before we get a little bit too it too deep into that situation I would like to you know transition a little bit over to the whole Drew and Ralph um Sedora, Drew Sedora and Ralph, sorry, I'm just mixing their names up, um, situation with the book, um, and how, you know, Ralph wanted Drew to write the forward, even though she does not know what the book contains in its entirety. She knows that it has something to do with, you know, being a stepfather and, you know, that whole transition piece, but, um, you want me to write it for it and I don't know what's, you know, what <laughs> you could be saying all kinds of things in there about me. So eh, I don't know. I, have to, I would have to come back to that and let me sleep on that a little bit, baby. But I know that his book was, you know, it's about co-parenting and what it's like to be a stepfather to a child that is not biologically yours. I do understand that, you know, it was initially the the point that 
Ralph would be adopting Josiah, um, you know, to be legally his, but, you know, Ralph, you know, tells, and I keep saying, you know, but Ralph talks to Drew and he tells her, look, I spoke to his dad, his biological dad, and his biological dad is like, um, I'm not, I don't really want to do that, you know, in the sense of, I can understand where he's coming from, but, you know, Josiah is not two years old or anything like that. He knows who you are. And if, you know, I know he's worried about, you know, some years down the line there, you know, he might want to come back and say, Hey, I'm your dad, but it's kind of difficult to do that when you're like, okay, I just signed your way, just gave you to this man. But, you know, at the end of the day, Ralph is the one that's raising him. So, you know, let me know how you feel. I understand, you know, that whole mama's baby dad is maybe you know you cannot you know children are not the children are not toys where you can play with them and then you know leave them alone and then come back later on to play with them they have feelings so we might want to go ahead and step up if you have another man coming to you saying hey I want to adopt your child legally and then you're like okay wait it's gonna make me feel some kind of way but you know step up just step up. So I like to know what you ladies think on that. It just kind of, you know, makes me feel a little bad because, you know, Josiah deserves to have, you know, his father in his life, um, as well as, you know, I want to commend Ralph for stepping up and becoming, you know, stepping into those shoes and, and, and being, a dad, you know, being a dad, you know, the, a dad is not always just what is on the birth certificate. A dad is the person who steps in and takes that role. And, you know, you know, regardless of what goes on between he and Drew, I do commend him for doing just that. He's that that's amazing. And, um, all right. So let's go over to Sanya and uh, that whole situation and uh, Jamaica where <laughs> baby all the couples were downstairs waiting in the bus in Kenya Kenya shows up I think it was like some time later like two three and you know two three hours later and you know you know, when they start filming, they got the whole crew there, you know, everybody on eight, took a shower, all kinds of crap, you know, walk the, walk the, 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 the grounds of the hotel and everything else. And, um, mm -mm, no, ma'am, Miss Kenya came down. Okay. Maybe, maybe I'm pushing. It wasn't two or three hours. It was like maybe 45 50 minutes, but you know, that's what it felt like. You know, everyone's sitting there looking, well, dang, it's Kenya coming. She really didn't have to be there because it was a couple's trip, but I'm, that's neither here nor there. I'm not saying that the girl couldn't be a part of the trip because, you know, she didn't have a date, but come on, man, you got people waiting. Show up, show up. So I know Sanya felt some kind of way because, you know, she planned this whole thing and, Just wanted to make sure that everyone had a good time. And, you know, when it's like waiting <laughs> almost an hour later, you, know, you show up and it's like, OK, um, I'm ready. She would have felt real bad had she got downstairs and the bus was gone. Right. But <laughs> that's not here or there. I will say that, you know, I'm going to leave that alone and I'll let, I'll wait to see how you all chime in on that. So, um, back to Sanya, Sanya, Sonia, Sanya, Sanya, please don't, don't, don't get mad at me because I hear Kenya call you Sanya. I hear your mom say Sonia. I don't know if it's the Patois. I'm not Jamaican, so I just want to make sure that I'm, you know, I don't want you to think I'm disrespecting you because that is not my intent. Uh, but uh, let's go back to the trip where Sanya was like, 
you know, everyone can go to the, um, the, the, the next day outing, but whoever wanted to come could come as long as they were ready by nine thirty in the morning. And I believe like both Sheree and Kenya were ready by nine thirty, and we're sitting around waiting for everyone to come. And, uh, so you never came. Um, she never came to get them. So they were calling her. So you didn't answer the phone. So Marlo ended up taking a car over to where Sonya was. And she told Sonya that, you know, Kenya and Sheree were really upset because they felt like they were being uninvited. And Sonya basically said they were being, um, well, actually, no, she said they were being dramatic. Um, and that she had lost her phone, but mm, I don't know. Sis. <laughs> She said it was a miscommunication, but girl, I think she was just trying to, you know, stick it back to him. Let's not play. Let's not play. Let's not play. So um, at the dinner that night, you know, it was, it was addressed and uh, Sheree and Kenya did end up confronting Sonya and they was letting her know how they felt about being uninvited. And they were upset that she never called them once to make sure they were even good. Um, and you know, it was just, you know, they, it was a, like Sonya said, it was a miscommunication. They were going back and forth and that's when her Sonya, you know, that's when Sonya's husband stood up and was like, okay, first of all, don't fuck, oops, excuse me. Ooh, 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 don't talk to my wife like that. He, he was like, you know, first of all, calm down. Don't talk to my wife that way. You know, I understand how you feel, but you're going to need to um, <laughs> bring it back just a little bit. So, you know, it's it's crazy. I don't know how I feel about that when, you know, the husband's stepping into the women's thing. But, you know, that is his lady. So it's like, OK, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but y'all not going to talk to my wife like that. And, you know, but then again, I'm, you know, I am a man. And I'm talking to another, I'm talking to a woman that way. I should kind of back up a little bit, but then I guess he didn't feel that way. So, um, I don't know. It's kind of a tricky situation because, um, even if it's someone going at my husband, uh, and it's a man, I may have to step in if he maybe not talking fast enough. So I don't know if y'all saw that little whole little TikTok. It's like, you know, where the husband is at the store and he's talking and then the wife steps in and say, anybody want to fight? Talk to me, whatever. Okay, maybe I'm like going to whatever, but you guys get it. Okay, I'm just going to, um, I'm going to stop it there and um, don't forget to like, subscribe and put down, you know, your thoughts on this episode. Uh, This is one of my first, so um, y'all give me some grace. (laughs) And uh, talk to your girl. See you soon. Bye.